If you have a mic air switch control, you might have got a gadget called a sound switch. This is like any kind of switch, but it works via sound. So you can make it work with music, or you can make it work with your voice. Let me just do something. Off. So, on this one, I have a projector connected to a single switch system and the sound switch plugged in. The sound switch will work with any of the mic air switch systems. And watch what happens. If I shout, in this case, fairly loud, on, on, on. I had to go very loud then. It switches it on. Now, before you think that that's how loud you have to shout, no. This has got a variable sensitivity. So, let me have a go. Off. Off. Now, I'm obviously having to shout way too loud there. So what I'm going to do is adjust the sensitivity so that I can be a lot quieter. So what I'm going to do now is turn the sensitivity up by just touching the up arrow there. Now, me just talking is now switching the projector on and off frantically. So, if you get the sensitivity too high in the wrong kind of environment, this is not going to be good news. So you really have to play with your sensitivity to make sure it's right. But here we go. Let's just try this. On. Off. On. Off. So the sound switch is actually quite incredible. It'll switch on and off, just with a voice, or with a tap on a table. Now, if you need to the sound to be a little more localised, you can plug an external microphone into the socket just there. That will localise the sound a whole lot more. But the sound switch, you need to experiment with this. Don't just use a voice, try it with a musical instrument. Try it by just tapping on the table. Try a sound switch on top of a plastic box and tap the plastic box. It makes for a fantastic touch switch, which is just operated by the sound of touch. And you can also use this whilst it's plugged into a transmitter. The sound switch is an incredible little switch, but you really need to practice with it and play with it to get the most out of it.